In this video, you'll learn how to add a smooth scroll with pure CSS on a link item click to a particular page section with CSS only. All right, so I have a simple example project here. So what we want is when I click on solutions, for example, that we actually go to the solutions section. When I click on projects, we want to go to this section and then we have the contact section. All right, so the first step, and maybe you've already done that, but what you need to do is you need to give each section an ID. All right, so let me quickly do that. ID is home, for example. I can name it whatever I want, but of course home is, you know, makes the most sense here. Solutions, projects, and contact. And then we need to target that here with the anchor tags, right? So here in your nav bar for the href, we have to say, if you click it, well, the address is home and you need to include the hashtag here, All right? So solutions, projects, and contact. All right, so if I save here and go back, if I now click on solutions, I go to the solutions section, but it's instant, right? It's not smooth, right? It's working now, but it's not smooth. So to make it smooth, you can go to your HTML element and you can say scroll behavior, right? Already suggests it for me. We have a value called smooth. So if I do that and now try it, it works and it makes it smooth, right? So this example is with the nav bar, but maybe you're trying to do this in some other elements. Right, maybe you have some other you know, scrollable element. In that case, you shouldn't do it on the HTML uh, uh, tag. You should do it on, well, some other element in which you're scrolling, right? Here I'm scrolling in the HTML document. This is for the overall HTML document. So I'm doing this, I'm selecting the HTML element and I'm specifying that. If you have some other element in which you're scrolling, that should be the element on which you specify this. Now, if it doesn't work, there could be a couple of reasons why it doesn't work. So let's go through them. So first of all, you may try adding this to the body as well. I just try adding it to the body as well and see if that works. Um, and what you may also try is just select adding it to all elements actually. So you can select all elements. Maybe you already have some kind of reset, but you can select all elements with the universal selector, right? And um, maybe that's the only thing you want to do, right? You can do something like this. I'm also adding the reset here, but maybe you want to do it for all elements and try again. This is not ideal because you're doing it for all elements, but in case it's not working, maybe this is the solution for you. Now, if, if it's still not working, what you may also try is the following. So you may have HTML focus within, and then you can add the declaration, including the important rule, because maybe it, it's being overridden by something. So this may also be a solution for you. If it's still not working, it could actually be because you're using some kind of JavaScript with scroll into view. So this together with the JavaScript scroll into view seems to be quite buggy in Chrome, right? So there is a bug out there and that may not be a good combination. So you need to pick one of the, one of the options. If it's still not working and you're on Windows, it could be because you have some kind of settings on your computer. So you can go to system properties, performance options, and maybe um, you've done something for best performance. Um, in that case, the browser or the computer may actually disable that smooth scrolling. Um, so you can change it back to adjust for best appearance, right? Or maybe not, because maybe you did it on purpose, but then at least you know, it's not because of some browser bug or you know some problem in your code, it's simply because of how you've set up your computer. And maybe your users are using this setting too, right? So it's not going to work for all users in case they have disabled that um, um, behavior, right? So this is an example of how to do it with scroll behavior smooth. Now, let's say what you, what you may also want to try is um, in a different tutorial, I'll do this in the next video. If you scroll down, that it actually makes the link item active as you pass through that section, right? So maybe this is what you want. In that case, check out the video that I'm linking to in the description or in the top comment if you wanna learn how to do this. In any case, it's really important that you have mastered the underlying fundamentals of web development. Those include both JavaScript as well as CSS. I have courses on them. Definitely check them out if you wanna take it to a professional level. The links are in the description. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there we will build some beautiful real world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.